Due to our storms and a deeper than usual snowpack this winter, SRP is continuing to increase water releases from several reservoirs. And that is impacting Tempe Town Lake. I mean, the pictures are incredible how much water is flowing. There's debris there. And the lake now is closed as a result. Anita Roman has more. The city of Tempe maintains the depth of the lake on a daily basis. They want to make sure the water is deep enough so that it's safe for boats like these, for example, to operate. Well, the problem right now is how fast the water's moving. Okay, so we came out today because we know that they're dumping a lot of water from Tempe Lake into the Salt River. And when we've ridden out here before, there's been totally dry out there. Ann Habel lives in Fountain Hills. She and her friends riding their bikes around Tempe Town Lake to check out how things look with all the water SRP is dumping in. Right now in the water, what we're seeing is the flow entering the lake is causing the surface of the water to move faster than normal. Fast enough, according to Craig Caggiano, water resources manager for the city of Tempe, that it's too dangerous to be on the water. Imagine if you were kayaking and this tree slammed into you. That's why Craig says Tempe Town Lake is close to boating activities until further notice. So the concern is that, well, some people may look at the surface speed right now and say, oh, I could easily paddle against that. Not everyone can. And we need to make the lake, lake safe for everyone in order to have it open for operations. Caggiano says the city will monitor the water rate, measure the flow in a number of different ways. One of the easiest ways is for us to get out on the lake in a known distance and then drift with the current and take several measurements and determine what the surface flow is. Hable, for one, thinks staying off the water is the right thing to do. Oh, I think it's a great idea. I saw that some people, somebody drowned on the Salt River the other day because they went out and the water's moving way too fast for kayakers. The city will be posting updates as to when the lake will reopen on its website. We'll have a link on ours, fox10phoenix.com. In Tempe, Anita Roman, Fox 10 News.